Hi everyone, it's Susie at here for day 17 of 31 days of horror. Today we are going to watch Kuzo, which uh, is a movie that's available on Shudder. And the reason why I chose that movie was because there's a TV show on Shudder that explains like, the backstage of some uh, horror movies and uh, horror stuff, uh, which is called The Call. And the, the director was a guest on there once and he showed some uh, special effects and he tell how he got to uh, make this movie, how it works and everything and he did show a uh, little bit of uh, the movie which looked uh, totally crazy, gore and gore and crazy so it's like oh my god I really need to watch that movie and it's a short movie, it's about uh, just over an hour and a half and yeah it looks like a very cool movie, a crazy movie uh, yeah so that's why I'm gonna watch it uh, but I'm just gonna read you quickly uh, what it's, it's actually about so uh, it's directed by uh, Steve, that's the name of the director, and um, so uh, Broadcasting through a makeshift network of discarded television, Kuzo is a shifting series of big vignettes uh, tangled in an aftermath of Los Angeles worth earthquake nightmare. Uh, travel between screens and aftershocks into the twisted life of the, of the survived. Then blending nightmarish vision, animation and a shocking image of a distorted America, this is a diving debut of Ascendant Sensation from director Steve, aka Vinyl Musician Flying Lotus. The hilarious, provocative, and darkly hilarious. I love the darkly hilarious in there. Uh, and the provocative and the hilarious. I love everything. <laughs> Kizu is available with macabre music, melancholy, and unimaginable imagery. You won't believe your eyes or your mind. It's a uh, Shudder exclusive that's have Annibal Barrett in it, George Clinton, David Firth, um, Tim Aidecker, and Endes Orm. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to watch it. I'm gonna go now and I will see you guys after. Uh, I'm wiping my ass. And by the way, I checked out your mixtape, and it's great. You're, you're so talented. Thank you. What have in your life? I was playing it for some, some people I know, and, and they were thinking that you're a big star. I know, it's fire, right? <laughs> but, uh... We should listen to it together, I could... Yeah? Uh, later. Why don't we do that later? Promise? Mm -hmm. You'll come over? Yeah. You're serious? Yeah, after the milk game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, yeah, I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, bye. See you later. See ya. Yeah. See ya. That was... That was crazy. That was really, really, really was crazy. Uh, <laughs> what did I just watch? Seriously? That... Oh my god. I... Yeah. It was as expected, but kind of not. So as expected, it was crazy. Uh, like the summary said, it's delirious, and it's not wasn't gold, but it was. Uh, there's, some, <laughs> there's some moment it's just dis it's disgusting. Uh, so it's not a movie for the fan hearted, not because there's like some gold, but because. Uh, Without spoiling you, yeah, there's some moment where it's disgusting and you shouldn't be afraid of uh, pus. And uh, poo. Uh, there's the other with the poo, there's a scene where it's like set in a uh, forest woody kind of thing and it's a bit he eerie and a bit magical, the uh, decor of it. Uh, like a fairy forest uh, almost and there's a, like a poo creature like a creature that feeds off uh, poo and the creature looks like a um, it's like a pile of poo but the middle of the pile is like an anus uh, like a model anus it's not an actual one obviously but um, <laughs> and yeah in a way it's kind of weird also because the director was able to mix the craziness and the weirdness and the beauty of the furriness and the yucky of the poo and there's really moments where there's like very yucky and disgusting and I've got to say also it's not a movie that you should watch if you are under 18 
because there's some moments where it's like adult stuff i was uh, when i was watching it i was thinking oh maybe it's like a pg-16 no after watching it is like definitely not pg-16 that's not pg-12 either that's way too uh yeah so you've got to be of age to watch the movie as a whole and uh yeah that's crazy uh so the at first uh, even though i read the summary i could not figure what was happening in the movie uh but i guess throughout i kind of figure out so like uh, the summary said there's worth an earthquake and i think what the earthquake did was to create some sort of disease or infectious stuff and like you saw there's like people most people like all everyone has got like some weird spotty pus thing on their face and that like, they're rotting uh, at the same time uh so it created like some weird stuff and weird stuff as of um, as in swimming headless and hairless turkey and in the scene there's also some uh, flying headless turkey or chicken whatever that was uh but that yeah uh yeah so that was definitely uh macabre macabre uh that was yeah this movie is uh quite something i've got to say in the way that it was uh filmed as well funny kind of clever how the director uh managed to put scenes together so it was like the summary said like some vignettes with several different stories but not that different because there's some moments where you can see that the stories are linked together besides the, like the earthquake and like whatever's going wrong with people's faces and bodies as well uh so like there's a, a scene when you like the wood scene at some point you there's whatever some of the whatever's happening in that woods very poor creature scene uh another in the next scene uh, one of the characters being a game in that's the part of the scene uh so it looks like there are like some people watching something that's related to the previous scene like on the tv uh, in the next scene uh and the way it was made as well so like the civil imagery like the summary says so there's like a actual people fi being filmed there's like a uh, image per image uh but used of made of um like collage thing from like newspaper and magazine and there's some cartoony stuff as well uh image per image which is quite uh very great and very well made how it's like you remember when you were at school like, drawing an image it's like flip flip a little uh notebook and create yeah, like, something uh so stuff like that uh there's some like weird windows 95 3d kind of stuff as well uh, so in that way as well, it's kind of beautiful as all, well, not just that the wood scene, but beautiful as a well whole because all of the different imageries that go together and the way it links is quite clever. And also, it's, I think you might recognize some faces in it. I'm not quite sure. I've got to check this out. Uh, but I think they've used an image, which is just like an actual image or like a picture of the actor, I can't remember his name, uh, who played Doc in uh, Back to the Future. And I think there was one of the reactors in there as well uh, for a short scene. I think it's one of the elders from uh, Elders React uh, from the Fine Brothers channel. Um, I'm not quite sure I've got to check this out, but uh, <laughs> if that was one of the, the elder, I thought it was, uh, she was hilarious in it and crazy in it. And that was just great. Uh, yeah, that was, I think it's a movie that you should watch uh, if you just don't want to know much about a movie before watching it they want to be surprised as well and if you're not afraid of being disgusting like literally there's some moment where i was like D no mm -mm, no as there's a scene as well where i had to close my eyes uh because that was just too much for me um but <laughs> that yeah so that's a movie i think that would be perfect if you're doing a movie marathon that's like 24 hours and this one like the movie like 
the last one to watch when you've been like awake for like 22 hours uh, a bit like uh, this uh, Queen is Slender that I watched on my first movie marathon I've, I haven't slept for like 24 hours I watched the last movie of the marathon and there was like the we the movie in itself is weird but because I was uh, craving sleep uh, that was even weirder and I think that's like that kind of movie where you've got to be uh, not too serious about watching a movie and it's yeah it's <laughs> watch it uh, tell me what you think it's a great movie I uh, really think it's a great movie Steve did a very great job uh, it's it's brilliant. I think as well it's this first movie. I'm not quite. Sh I can't remember if I'm not sure if I remember quite well from the call, from the episode of the call where he's in, uh, in which he's in. But um, yeah, I think it's one of his. If it's not his first, it was one of his first. And it's a very clever movie, very beautiful in a way. Even though there's a lot of disgusting stuff, but it's beautiful, disgusting, and very clever, disgusting. And how I kind of love that movie, I guess. And I uh, don't know if, I, yeah, we recommend it to watch if you uh, like that kind of movies. What the trailer to have an idea, uh, which will be uh, in the description box, I guess. Uh, and also if you are uh, over 18. I'm not like the kind of person like, oh no, you shouldn't watch this, or you shouldn't do this, if you're not underage, but yeah. There's some stuff where you've got to be over 18. Sorry guys. Uh, although I think most of you watching this channel are over 18, but just in case. Uh, yeah, so watch that movie. Uh, do tell me in the comments what you think of it. Um, whether it's good or bad. Um, because I like to know uh, everyone's opinion on stuff, even though we don't necessarily agree. If you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it on your social media. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 18 of 31 Days of Aura. <laughs> Bye.